and as you can see on the left hand side they have all been created they look really nice and if we change it to mock-up 2 we should see the size charts pop up as well in this video i'm going to show you how to create high quality mock-ups in bulk by using my designs so first of all you need to sign up to my designs there will be a link in the description and the free account is enough for what we're going to do today once you're inside of my designs head over to the listings tab right here and then click on home because we want to create a new collection to create a new collection just click this button over here in the right corner then give it a new name so in this case let's just call it mockups and use the default template. Once that's done, you want to locate the folder of the collection that you've just created, click on it, and then hit open. Now we can upload our designs to this folder that we want to create the mockups for. And to do that, just click upload in the top right corner, then drag and drop all of your files into this field right here, and then hit upload all, upload designs, and then you'll just have to wait about a minute for these to import into my designs once that's done you need to head up to this button right here in the top left corner click on that then hit select all and then go to more actions where you need to scroll down to mockups once you click that a big new window will open this is essentially a mock-up generator it has tons of different items of clothing if we scroll down more and more load up there's hoodies there's t-shirts sweatshirts there's uh, seasonal themes right here with Valentine's Day, perfect for every occasion. You always see the product names. So Bella 3001 right here, that's a very popular t-shirt to sell on Etsy, Gildan, and uh, there's different options as well in terms of mock-ups. So you've got uh, color charts, you've got size charts, then you have models wearing them, both female and male options, and just flat mock-ups laying on the floor. And if we look at this, uh, sort of category up here you can also also change this to wall art stickers drinkware which is mugs and uh, other categories so a really really good variety here on my designs and all of these mock-ups look amazing so one quick tip in terms of t-shirts is you could type in up here say you're looking for Bella 3001 mock-ups just type that into here and it will filter them all out I'm going to show you an example right here with this model at the bottom so click on that mock-up if you want to use it you can change the primary color over here my design works better on a light t-shirt so we want to change that over and it updates the preview on the right hand side once you're happy with what your mock-up is going to look like all you have to do is head down to the bottom right and click create mock-ups it's going to do that process for all of our design files now you can see right here in the top right it's added that job to the job queue essentially and it's going through every single listing while that's running we can head back to more actions and click on mock-ups and select the next one so um, let's say we also want to create some size charts for uh, this t-shirt let's choose this one right here with the uh, woman again you've got two colors to choose right here so the primary color is going to be our t-shirt color and the secondary color would be the font so i'm just going to leave that black uh, we'll hit generate preview and as you can see right there we've got the perfect mock-up with a size chart attached which is extremely useful for etsy because it doesn't just look more professional but it also saves you from having to answer a lot of questions about the sizing so let's say we're happy with this now and we would have to change the output file slot because we've already saved our other mock-ups into the mock-up one file slot so all you have to do is change that to mock-up two and you're good to go just hit create mock-ups and it's been added to the job queue our previous mockups have already been created. Now, quick tip on how to view your mockups once they're done is heading over to the file slots right here and change this from primary to mockup one. And as you can see on the left hand side, they have all been created. They look really nice. And if we change it to mockup two, we should see the size charts pop up as well. By the way, in case you're curious um, about these designs, they are created by me and they're part of my exclusive member graphics in case you want to get access to them for your t-shirt designs. If I head back to mockups, I just wanted to show you a couple more things um, that I think are really handy. So I really love the, um, the option that my designs has to create a review for the Etsy listing essentially. So 
If we click on this one right here and generate a preview, it will actually make up a review with our design on it and a picture example that we can then add to a listing to add some trust to whoever is looking to buy our design. And that's really powerful, I think, that could give you an advantage over your competitors. And once again, we can do it in bulk. Here we go, it's loaded. It's just amazing shirt, the sizing is perfect, comfortable and super soft to touch. There's an example with a green shirt as well. Um, so you might want to also list that color. Nevertheless, I think you get the idea. Um, if I change the category right here, just to show you some of the different options as well, I need to delete that. Um, but essentially wall art, lots of nice wall art images as well. Um, in terms of mock-ups, wall art is very popular on Etsy. Stickers, you've got stacks of them. Um, you've got the die cut ones. You've also got sticker sheets. There's some live or real life mock-ups here with them on a laptop and drinkware, like I mentioned before, is mugs. So tons of variety, endless possibilities right here with my designs. And whenever you've selected a mock-up and you're done with it, just hit create mock-ups. And I forgot to change the output slot. Um, so that's why you have to go into here, change it to mock-up three and then hit create. There we go. And now once you're done with them and you want to actually download and use them in your listings, you can head up to more actions and then click download as zip. And you can select the file slot right here. So mockup one is what we see right now. If you want to download that slot, just click download zip. And there we go. It zipped that up very quickly and downloaded it to our PC. So now you just need to extract it in your downloads folder and you're good to go. If you want to learn how to upload hundreds of designs every single day to your Etsy shops by using my designs, you can even use the, the free version for this, then make sure to check out this video next where I walk you through the entire process and I also show you some of the best practices.